When updating your Docker containers, you want to ensure that there is minimal downtime during the transition from the old containers stopping and the new containers starting. Docker Compose makes this process extremely simple. The order is essentially pull the updated images, then update all services or a specific service, and then remove all unused containers. So the first step after updating your Docker Compose.yaml file is to pull the new images for your containers. And you can easily do this with the command Docker Compose pull. Let me go to where my configuration file is. And then you would just run docker compose pull. And then if you have an environment, environment variable file, you can just specify that here. But pulling the images first ensures that the latest images are available for each service before restarting the service with new containers. After the pulling is complete, we now need to perform a rolling update. So if you want to update or start a specific service, I would recommend the command docker compose up, run in the background, specify no dependencies, and then the service name of the specific service. This flag right here, no depths, prevents Docker Compose from recreating or starting dependent services when you update or start a specific service. So by default, when you use Docker Compose up, Docker Compose checks if the specified service has dependencies defined in the depends on section of the Docker Compose.yaml file. If it does, Docker Compose ensures that those dependent services are started first or recreated as necessary. So this prevents dependent services from also restarting. But this is only for updating a specific service. If you wanna just do every service, then I would recommend this command, docker compose up, run in the background, and then remove orphans. So omitting the service name will recreate all services, and the remove orphans flag removes any containers that were created by a previous version of the docker compose.yaml file, but are no longer defined in the updated file. And if you're curious, if you update your docker-compose.yaml file and remove or rename a service, the containers associated with the removed or renamed service will not be stopped or removed automatically. And these are what are called orphan containers. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. And take it easy.